Hi everyone. Okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing like a weekend, spend the weekend with me kind of video. It's actually New Year's weekend, so today's New Year's Eve. Just getting ready because I'm about to go to my friend Chelsea's. I just out of her baby's room and I thought I'd just bring you along on the weekend with me. I don't know how much I'm actually getting up to for tonight. I know I'm definitely going my mum's because she's having like just a little gathering. <laughs> Not even a gathering. It's literally just me, my sister, Becky, my sister's kids and then also my mum and dad. So yeah, so I'm going to just do my hair. It's very greasy, it needs to wash but tomorrow is hair wash day. So yeah, so I'm just doing my hair now. I'm literally just going to shove it half up, half down I think. Literally as I've been wearing it all week. I, don't, I literally don't even know if this vlog will go up. If it's off then I've obviously filmed enough but i don't even know if i'm gonna get enough footage because i don't really think i'll vlog at chelsea's because we're literally just gonna be decorating her room this ring light i got literally got in a set it's so good it's literally this one i've got this one as well this one's like way more blue than this one so it makes like my face look really blue <laughs> so i don't really like that one i will be right back when i've sorted out this mop because this is not good <laughs> so my hair isn't really cooperating i think it's really really a good wash but i just chucked in a little claw clip which is from primark and i'm just gonna put in some hair oil i don't know i was actually probably interested but i use the beauty weight argan serum i love this stuff i think it's really good i was debating getting the beauty works shampoo and conditioner because my shampoo is literally got so many sulfates in and that is obviously not good for your hair or when you color your hair it's really bad for like stripping color and stuff and then perfume my favorite perfume in the whole entire world is juicy couture viva la juicy so i've just got on this very very oversized baggy jumper which my sister got me for Secret Santa, if you saw the what I got for Christmas video then you'll know. It's really big and baggy. It's a really good job that she got me medium because I probably would have got a large. It's definitely with the oversized, you don't need to get a large. Just some grey leggings on Primark which I literally wear all the time. And then just some kappa socks. And then I'm going to wear just my brown Uggs because what other shoes do I wear? But yeah, so I'm going to go now. I'm just going to finish getting ready and then go to Chelsea. So I will see you. I'm not sure when. Okay, so I've just got back from Chelsea's house. Let's just ignore the fact that I literally haven't vlogged anything. If this lighting's bad, it's because I'm sat in front of my lamp <laughs> because I've currently got no good lighting in the house. But I just got back from Chelsea's house. Um, I'll chat to you properly in a minute, but I just want to show you the drinks that I picked up for New Year's Eve. I'm very, very excited, actually. So, well, we need to follow the same for them. Of course, I got my favourite tequila rose. If you've not tried tequila rose, where have you been? What have you been doing? Best drink ever. It's basically, it's tequila, but it's like, it's like a strawberry milkshake. It's delicious. Very easy to drink. Love that. And then, I really love AU Vodka. Like, I've tried the blue one. Amazing. Tried the little cans. Amazing. But I really want to try this flavour because it just sounds incredible. Ah! I got the bubblegum one. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for this. Cost an arm and a leg. Let me just tell you. To buy that. Is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. How cute's the package now? It's got like the blue and the pink and... Oh, I can't wait to add to that. I think I'm just going to have it with just lemonade. I don't, I'm not sure what else you'd have with it. But let's go upstairs and I'll check to you pop up there. Also, I went to shop earlier and it was £3 card limit. I literally just wanted to buy two fizzy drinks. So I bought some of these. Okay, so I don't know if this lighting is bad. I, what I can see right now, it looks really bright. But I know when I edit back the video, it never actually looks that bad. But I thought, I literally haven't got much footage in this video at all, so I thought, let's film my makeup. I was going to do a TikTok about it, but it'll literally be the same makeup as I uploaded the other day on my TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow, it's just Meg Hume. But yeah, I thought, let's do our makeup together to try, try and make this vlog a little bit longer. I'm going to try my hardest to vlog tonight um, at my mum and dad's. I still feel very awkward, even though they watch my YouTube and stuff, but I just feel awkward still. I've just primed with the Primark vitamin rich moisturizing primer it's bobby brown dupe if you've not tried try it so i'm gonna take the pink honey super hole which is like my favorite thing for brown ever and i just use this literally revolution hydrating mist it's just like a, a mist just use that to wet the spoolie a little bit because you want it to be a bit wet so the product actually sticks to it and then i just run it through my brows you know coating it all through my brows and i just start sticking them down like that they look crazy at first but they won't look that crazy and it's done <laughs> if you've not tried pink honey if you're on the side the makeup side of tiktok then you have more than likely tried pink honey because it's just the best like, look at the difference that makes to my eyebrows then i take a revolution brow pencil this one's in dark brown and i just start to fill out my eyebrows so i start off at the bottom carve across the bottom just to kind of get the base shape and as i'm going i do just like to brush that so the line isn't like super harsh eyebrows aren't my forte though like i've never been good at eyebrows they're just 
I find them really difficult. So pink only helps a lot though, because it kind of just maps your eyebrows out for you. And then I do around the top area, fill out any gaps, just kind of do like little, like little hair motions. And then for the front, I just very lightly start to like lick up and kind of make little brow hairs. Because oh, I don't really like to fill them out too much because I don't want them looking too crazy. And I will wipe around any area that it goes a bit funny or a bit too far down. I'll go through with some concealer and just sort that out. I know they look really thick when I've got no makeup on and they look like slugs, but when the whole makeup's done, they look Final. So this is for going all out, sometimes I don't stick them down this much. Whatever concealer I'll use under my eyes, I'll use that to carve out my eyebrows. So I'm just using the ALF Camo Concealer. So I just take a little bit of this concealer and just start to carve out the bottom of it. So as you can see, the shape is a lot better now. I'm actually having a pretty good eyebrow day today. And I might go back over them once the rest of my makeup's on, because sometimes I might knock them or they'll go funny. Okay, now on to face. Sometimes I use the NYX, the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. Sometimes I use that kind of around my nose area. So I just put this around like, my, around like my nose and cheek area. This filter finish by Collection in the shade Fair Medium 2. If you don't know about this, get to know because, oh, yeah, get to know because it's incredible. So I just put this all over my face. I do want to try the e.l.f. one, but e.l.f. do one like this, and this is like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. And I don't wear foundation, so it's not much coverage, but it kind of just gives it a little bit of colour. Then I take Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Biscuit, and I just put this on any spot areas. And then I just take a sponge and spray it. I prefer using like sprays that I make for like your face over water, because I just feel like it makes it blend better. Then I take my favourite contour stick ever, which is the Primark foundation in the shade chai using the same buffer brush because I've only got one buffer brush and my favourite things to blend. Literally amazing over time. And I also put it on my forehead. Then taking the e.l.f. camo. Oh, I hate when you get an itchy face. e.l.f. camo concealer. I use the shade light sand. That's it really. I feel like if I put it here I'll go really cakey. If I put it on my nose I'll go cakey. If I put it here I'll go cakey. So I avoid putting it in them areas. I put it around there because I feel like the contour can go a little bit far down. I also take that onto my eyelids as well, just to blend in with that concealer that we used. And then, time for my favourite part at the moment, blush. So I was going to try this out today. But I'm a bit nervous to try it, so I might just stick with pink. I'm going to use my all-time favourite, which is Cold Heart by Made by Mitchell. This is literally my favourite thing in the world. And then taking MF1 by Made by Mitchell. These blushes are so damn pigmented. It's actually just crazy to be honest. To the point where sometimes I think they're not even going to blend out. But they definitely do. Just me, that's not very good at blending out blush. Like, I don't know why. It doesn't look that crazy in real life. I think it's just this lighting. I love it. To be honest, I love a lot of blush though. Then taking Laura Mercier, which she's just the best, on just a powder puff. I can't. My sister bought me this for Christmas. I just use this on the powder puff anywhere that I might go shiny or my come off a little bit and then just taking whatever's in the lid on the rest of my face just to make sure that lasts all day i just put a little bit of powdered bronzer on over the top of that and then i just take a morphe little brush and just very quickly just run this down my nose i just just add a little bit of color to my nose not to like specifically contour it then taking that bronzer again and just running it through my eyes and then because i'm a literal crazy blush woman i take the dior rosy glow blusher on just a tapered blush brush and then i highlight just a little bit i don't wear too much highlighter anymore but i use a morphe highlighting brush and i just spray my brush just a little bit and then i use this elf highlighter which she hasn't even got a name just pick up some of that and just put this and i do mascara this is just the rimmel lash sensational and that is the finished makeup so I don't wear makeup often, like I said. I don't know if I said that actually. I don't wear makeup very often, so when I when I do, it is a bit all out. But I'm obsessed with pink blush at the moment. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna leave my hair like this because it's comfy and I can't wait to do anything to it. You can't really see me, but I'm just gonna do a really quick outfit of the day. So I've just got this jumper on from Boohoo, which I think I showed you this whole outfit earlier. I've got my Uggs, Primark coat that, that I literally wear all the time, Fendi and Pandora ring, and then my little evil eye necklace. I'm literally leaning on my tea coffee sugar things right now it's so little wonky you don't see that leaning on my little kitchen all thing but yeah so i actually ordered if you're on tiktok then you'll know i ordered the viral 
I like the long line puffer coat. Oh, I'm in it. My dad ran me, but yeah, I ordered the long line puffer coat, which I'm very excited about because I see so many people ordering it and wearing it, and it looks incredible. And like, I was pulling it off buying it for ages. I was like, no, like, I don't really need a coat. Even though I do, because I literally just wear this on all the time, but I was like, no, don't need one waste of money. But every single time I went on my For You page, there it was. And I was like, this is a sign. If this isn't a sign, then what is? £26. On the price it was before like, the TikTok sale, it was like £58 or something. So then it was down to 29 and then I had a £3 off coupon for TikTok and free delivery. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. You can also see my makeup in a much better light here. That blush is literally stunning. I love it. Um, but yeah, my dad's on his way. So then we're going to go to my mum's. I'm going to do a taste test of the AU bubblegum vodka when I'm there. I'm going to really try my hardest to vlog stuff tonight. But I don't even know if there'll be that much going on. It's just literally a family. Not even a party. <laughs> It's not even a party, but yeah, I'm gonna go and pop a comfy vibe. See you at my mum's. Why are you doing that for? You're not recording. We have no radio. Make me nervous. Is this going on our tally? When you tap on your fruit? Oh my god. We're gonna try this bubblegum AU. Maybe it's on cork. Because it feels like a bit put it back in. Because we've never tried it. Oh my god, it smells like. I don't need to smell bulb, it just smells like vodka. Mm. I think it's like a blue colour when it comes out and then it changes to pink. Is that right? Big colour changing. Sick. Wow! I hope it's nice because this just cost me £35. I hope it's nice. I'm going to let me try it for you. You never cheers me! Can you even taste it? I can just taste seven up. Mmm. A little bit more. Yeah. Well, wow, it's actually quite nice. I mean, I can only taste seven up at the moment. Mmm. It's not very bubblegum, Lisa. Oh no, I'm getting a hint of bubblegum now. Nah, it's just subtle. It's not like overpowering bubblegum. This has got lighting in the middle of my dad's kitchen up here. Well, I don't mind the tequila rose. I just want them to try all the bubblegummy shit. No tasting. What? Hey, baby, baby, baby. Your camera behind you. Cheers. Oh, you've even got the glasses. And then cheers. <laughs> you, you calm down now. Ooh, I like that. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's it. Thank you. what comes on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Dad. That's where it comes from. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I don't think I'll actually film pretty much anything last night except having a shot but we literally just chilled at my mum and dad's till about 11 come home just to fire weeks on tv and then we literally just went to bed now we're going to i need to get boots because i need a new moisturizer because i was meant to get one yesterday but i just took longer at chelsea's than i thought i would so, so we're gonna go to boots and then we're going to becky's mum's for dinner Okay, so let's just ignore the fact that I've put Becky's snuddy on. It is literally freezing in this house. I've also got a hair mask in, which I don't know if I said that earlier, but my hair isn't this greasy. It's got a hair mask in. Um, but we've just got back. Sorry, I haven't vlogged anything while we were out, but we literally, we went to Boots because I need to pick up a new moisturiser. And then I want to go home bargains, but they're actually shut on New Year's Day, which I don't know if that's a thing usually. I'm not sure, but, but yeah, it's actually shut. So we'll have to go there next week. Yeah, and then we went to Becky's mum's for dinner. So that was really nice. We had like a Sunday dinner, like a carvery. I don't know what people call it in other places, but I just call it a Sunday dinner. I thought I'd show you the two things that I picked up in, well, three things I picked up in Boots. I actually picked up four things, but this one's really boring. I just picked up some cotton buds because I had none, ran out, and and yeah, I use these a lot, so. I bought a Carmex because my lips are really dry and the lip balm that I take to work is like snapped, so I bought this to keep in my work bag. And then I picked up my favorite moisturizer ever, which is the Omega Water Cream. This, if you've not tried this, you really need to try it, like, because I feel like my skin is like really quite dull and spotty, whereas this just makes it look so glowy, so healthy, and I've actually ran out, so. Yeah, picked up another one of these, and they're only like 10 pound, I think, which I think for a decent moisturizer is really good. I bought to try, I've never tried this, but I've heard really good things about it on like TikTok, and I know this type of serum is actually meant to be really good for like hydrate your skin, so I got the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I actually wanted to try this for ages, because it's just meant to like really, really hydrate your skin. I got this, this was literally like 6 99 I think. Just a little bottle like this, obviously the bottle is, the bottle is tiny, that's it compared to my hand, but I think you don't need much at all, you literally need the tiniest little bit. And yeah, this is just meant to really hydrate your skin, so I'm excited to try that and see if it actually does do anything good for my skin to like make it hydrate because i think i heard somewhere i don't know if it's true but if your skin is like really dry and dull that's when you start getting more spots so if you keep your skin hydrated because i've tried loads of like 
stuff dedicated for acne prone skin but then it dries out your skin so bad which i then feel just makes my skin even worse so i thought if i'll go down like the hydration route then hopefully my skin will start to clear up so yeah i've got them two things so we're not actually doing much again tonight we've both got work tomorrow i think we're just gonna have a massive tidy over the house the christmas tree needs to come down which is so sad i don't want it to come down but it needs coming down we're gonna tidy up i might time lapse some bits of us tidying also i think i'm gonna go back to weekly vlogging because even though i work full time i just feel like there's such good videos to put out like i really like my favorite kind of videos to watch are vlogs and like weekly vlogs so i really want to start doing them again so we're gonna start taking the christmas tree down which is very very sad because it does look so pretty it's january 1st just want to clean the whole house start the new year off nice and fresh so let's take the christmas decorations down carried on into like the weekly vlog so for you it'll literally just be like the next clip after the last one i'm going it's wednesday today i'm gonna get my nails done because that's a problem plus they're still christmasy so i'm gonna go get them done i had like a really cute design in mind but then i lost four nails and they all went really short so that design is no longer but i'm gonna go get them done now i need to leave now actually because i'm running late but yeah today we've just got a few errands to run after my nails so we need to go send my old passport off and do some other stuff my new phone came today as well so i've got the iphone 14 pro max in black I'm gonna leave now and I probably won't film when I get my nails done, but I will show you the after of these dreaded nails. Let's just ignore how messy my hair is. Just got back from my nails done, they look so cute. I've had to get a lot shorter though because the other ones had broke, so it would look odd if I'd had some short ones and some long ones. I see yours there. Let's see your manicure. There you go. <gasps> so this is my nails. They're so cute. How cute are they? So I wanted like tips and cow prints, but because how short they were, it just wouldn't look. It wouldn't look right. Do you like them? Can we just take a moment to look at how Megan's ruined my shoe? <gasps> Liar! That wasn't me. I told her don't wear them outside, yeah, because of the weather. And then she wore them outside and it's throwing it off. That wasn't me, so stop lying. So anyway, so we're going to the shop now because I need to get a screen protector for my new phone and send off my old passport. Can you take phone with them? I'm absolutely starving. Yeah. We tried ordering got my money back. We tried ordering and those twice every day. Both times they ordered it. Would get cancelled, but then it said it's on its way. I took the money off Becky and no Nando's, so we had a Domino's. <laughs> but stupid me, yeah. When I rang up and said, "Have you got me order or not?" Because it's took the money. He said, "No, we haven't. The app's been doing it, but I wouldn't try it again." So dickhead me, <laughs> no language deb. Went to the different Nando's and ordered on their website, and the same thing happened again. <laughs> so we had no Nando's, and we'd wasted an hour. I bought some new shampoo for my hairdresser because the one I use has got sulfates in and obviously we all know sulfates are bad for your hair so it's pointless me paying to get my hair done This is the one I got and you get like a free NYX eyeshadow palette with it I've never used cool tone eyeshadows before so I'm actually quite excited to try that But yeah, so I've got this, colour obsessed and obviously I get my hair dyed brown even though I'm naturally brown but obviously I was blonde for two years so Okay so I've just gone to Vodafone and got just a case just for now I have already gone from Skinny Dip but it's not going to come yet and then a screen protector because ain't no way I'm cracking this phone like my, my old one This case is quite nice actually though well, The only thing with it is that it doesn't actually protect your screen like Skinny Dip No like Skinny Dip ones have been bumpers so when I drop it which has been a very a lot of times But um, cute, I do quite like that the case though Different Yeah Got a case, now we're just walking around Probably not going to go anywhere else really. So because I don't eat beef, I've ordered a plain Big Mac with the sauce, two mayo chickens, and I'm going to put the chicken burgers on there. Genius. New garlic cheese bite. I think I've tried them before, I didn't really like them, but they're okay. You know what's a joke? I'll be only give you one barbecue sauce. So I'm going to go eat my Big Mac. I'll show you when I put it all together, and we'll do a little taste test. We're also watching the new Waterloo Road. Cannot wait. Very excited. Not happy that they killed off one of the best characters, so. You know the really, really dodgy angle? Here it is. Oh my god, Beck. That is game changing. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just ignore the absolute state of me. I've got a hair mask in. Can't believe I'm even coming on the internet looking like this, to be honest. But 
I'm going to wash out of them in. But I just wanted to update you with something that we've booked. We have booked our first holiday. How excited are you? Very. Seems it. <laughs> we are excited. We've booked a holiday. We're going to Spain in like the end of August. So I'm very, very excited because I've only been abroad once and I was five, six maybe. It was like 2005. Becky's never been abroad ever. And this is going to be like, other than like we've been to Scotland, London, but this is going to be like our first proper holiday, which I'm very, very excited about. We're just looking in for, into like a, a cattery to put the cats in. Which I'll probably cry my eyes out leaving them there. Better than them being there than like someone coming around to our house to just feed them a cup like a few times a day and them just being alone for seven nights. So it's better to put them somewhere where I know they'll be properly looked after and have company <laughs> and all that. But yeah, we're really excited and I can't wait to go holiday shopping. Even though it's literally not till August. And all the shops right now are literally just winter clothes. I'm gonna go have a bath now because I really need to wash this hair mask out. I'm gonna use my new shampoo so I'll tell you how that is after because I'm quite excited to try that. I've just got on this coat which I literally wear all the time. Like, if I ever go out, I'm either wearing this blazer or this skirt. But all from Primark. And then I've got Becky's Oswego's on. I'm not 100% sure if these shoes go. I feel like they're a bit chunky for the vibes. I can't be able to think of anything else. I'm already running late. As always, normal jewellery, my evil eye necklace, Pandora ring, Fendi ring. Makeup, you would have seen me do. Let's go eat so much food i forgot to even say where we're going we're basically going to like an all-you-can-eat restaurant like where they do loads of different types of food and stuff my hair will just never not be frizzy so i don't even know why i'm wearing it all the way down we're going to like an all-you-can-eat for it's like a joint birthday meal for me and my sister's boyfriend his is on the 7th of january mine's on the 14th so we're just like combining the two but yeah i really need to go because i am actually running really late but bag i'm just wearing my normal my little black shoulder bag that i literally wear all the time first plate I've had curry chicken tikka masala. What have you had? Any Chinese food. Yo, I can't wait. I hope it's not dead spicy. It wasn't last time I come, but next is Chinese. Let's, let's not judge how much mayo I've got on my plate. Next is very beige. Watch that. Watch that. Oh. Yum. They got me a balloon. How cute is that? I wasn't talking to you, so I'm sitting on there. Is that me or the same as Laura? Nate Mill. Now I want to dessert, which is the best bit. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog there. Let's just ignore the see becky let's just ignore the fact that i'm on my phone my camera's died i've only just got back so i haven't had a chance to charge it but i'm gonna i'm gonna end the vlog here because i'm not gonna get a chance to end it tomorrow because we've got well we're babysitting my best mate's kid tomorrow hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video